Welcome back, High Fleet Typhon lovers. Today we have the Biovor, so let's get into it. First of all, prime the model in black, and then take a grey of your choice, and in my case I used Vallejo Stonewall Grey. And apply a heavy dry brush over the entire model, just leaving the recesses in black. And once you've done that, go back in with Citadel Contrast Paint Black Templar and paint up all of the armour pieces on the model. Next up, we're going to highlight all of the armour pieces and we're going to start that off with a heavy dry brush of Citadel the Fang. And we're going to hit all the areas on the armour, trying to catch as many of the edges as we can. We're then going to apply an even lighter dry brush of Citadel Fenrisian Grey and this time we really only want to hit the very top points of the highlights. We're next going to go in with another coat of Vallejo Stonewall Grey and this is just to touch up any of the dry brushing from the previous step. Next up we're going to start to feather all of the limbs and we're going to be using Citadel Contrast Space Wolves Grey. Now remember the secret here is just to have your feathering brush on standby and to apply the paint about 50% of the way down the model and then quickly switch to your feathering brush and then feather the paint down into the rest of the model. And we're going to be applying this technique to all six of the legs of the Biovore and also all the tentacles on the spore mines and we're also going to be applying a coat of this to all of the bones on the underside of the biovore and on the cannon itself. Thank you. 
We're then going to apply another coat to all of the bones on the model and we're going to be using a mix of Nagroth Knight and the same contrast paint Space Wolf's Grey as we used in the previous step. This will be a 50-50 mix and we're just going to apply this to all of the bones on the model, feathering where applicable. We're next going to be using our feathering technique with Citadel Contrast the Lupus Pink to paint in the head of the Biovor and also the barrel of the cannon. We're also going to be using the Lupus Pink to paint in all of the claws and talons on the model and any other areas that we want pink as well. Next is to highlight up all the pink on the cannon and we're going to do that by dry brushing on a 50-50 mix of Volupus Pink and Cadian Flesh Tone. And we just want to use a light dry brush here in between the transition of the Volupus Pink and the Stonewall Grey. I then went back in with a very light dry brush of the Vallejo Stonewall Grey just to highlight up any of the highest points on all of the spore mines and the cannon itself. We're then going to highlight up the rest of the pink areas with Vallejo Squid Pink and we're just going to do a light dry brush to catch as many of the edges as we can. We're then going to apply 
a very thin shade layer of Caraborg Crimson, mixed 50-50 with water to all the areas that we've just highlighted with the pink and flesh tone. And this is going to help tie in all the highlights. And after that's dried, all that's left to be done is do a quick touch up of any misplaced brush strokes and then give the entire model a quick spray of matte varnish. Then whip up a quick base and then you're done. I hope you found this video useful and if you do have any questions on how to paint this colour scheme yourself, then just let me know in the comments below. And if you do happen to try, this colour scheme, then also let me know how it goes in the comments below. Next up, I'm going to be tackling the Norn Emissary, so keep an eye out for that video over the next coming weeks. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.